Look at me and this family. Look, look at this family right here, man. Yeah. Hugo's absolutely fucking shows, Dad. Look at this one. Look, look, look at this one. <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah, welcome back to Guide Eater. It's, uh, been a while. I've been playing a lot of 100% orange juice with my friends. But, uh, let's see what's going on. You see, Claire, let, uh, okay. You see, Claire, let me borrow some things. But the underwear is a little too big. Oh, well. Damn. Claire's thick. Lulu sure is amazing. She was able to survive all on her own, not to mention all that she's uh, had to endure. Yeah, yeah, I can I can see that. Uh, damn it! I hung out with Zeke last night, and before I knew it, it was dawn. I mean, at least Lulu and I are getting along now. He'd even plan on that, which makes it even worse. <laughs> hey, hey, you need me? You need? You you need to stop slitting around and be a show to uh, uh, be a show to father, be a father to show. I don't think I've ever laughed so hard in my life. Before we had to be clear, uh, careful when playing cards so the guards wouldn't catch us. It reminds me how uh, how gorgeous those white playing cards were, so smooth to touch. Oh, I'm I'm so happy that everyone's happy. Mar, you're by yourself. What the fuck, dude? Keith's eyes were blood red. He said he didn't get any sleep. Well, I mean, that's what happens when you play poker. At least that's what happens when I play poker. <laughs> Yay, I won. This feels amazing. Claire, uh, Claire is comically bad at cards. I don't think I've met anyone with worse poker face. What? There wasn't a cutscene for that? That'd be fucking amazing. I need... I need... Uh, fuck. I need art of, like, people playing poker now. That's why I was, uh, that's why I like playing with her. That's evil. Oh, we cut did scene. it. We finally oh, did it, Zeke. Not a cutscene. Acceleration trigger analysis is complete. Man, that was quick. Did you stay up all night? It's the thing Lulu was using, right? What the hell is it anyway? I'm so glad you asked. Simply put, an acceleration trigger initiates a process. Oracle potential energy is drawn forth from the Oracle cells within a God Arc user's body when certain stresses are applied to the cells, then transferred to a booster within their armlet, which then amplifies the effect of the energy, instantly boosting the user's capabilities by creating a God Arc wielder feedback loop, resulting in an Oracle cell subjective stimulation system. Simply put, I mean, simply put, for us, I could understand every bit of it. It'll unlock the energy in your oracle cells for an extra boost of power when you do certain things during combat. Wow, those folks in Baron are working on some remarkable stuff. So, these oracle cells we have in us are real scary, huh? Yeah, I'd say they qualify as real scary. If you overactivate them, they'll eat your body from the inside after all. Do you have to look so happy about it? Well, you don't have to worry as long as you don't pull anything funny. The one Lulu brought in was improperly calibrated, which is dangerous. But never fear. I'll make sure the ones on your god arcs are up to spec. Huh? But you just finished analyzing them. You gonna install them already? I mean, I know I said I wanted one, but... <laughs> the more weapons you have at your disposal, the longer you can survive. Right, friend? I don't want to die. But it's a gamble. I don't know about this, man. I've made sure to install the safest, simplest version so you can try it out the next time you're in a fight. There's already a mission set up and everything. No glitches, right? Alright, guess I'm gonna have to learn how to acceleration trigger. Alright, acceleration trigger unlocked. The acceleration option is now available. Configure these loadouts in the terminal. Alright, gonna do that. Hard cut. Alright. Vitals normal. Instruments are green. Go ahead, Keith. Uh, I forgot right. the controls. Let's get this acceleration trigger test underway, shall we? 
I forgot the controls. Fucking hurt. Ooh. Healing. Uh oh. What the fuck? That tracks? Could you not? Take this, fucker. Yep, just, just stay there. Just st stay there. Nope, nope, I, I need you to fall, please. Get bullied. Oh god, I'm being bullied. your neck. Yep, don't get up. 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 Don't get, oh, you, you got up. Get your ass back here. Ooh, items. This. Oh, it's digging. Ow, fuck. All right, all right. Could you, could you chill out? Could you? Oh, could you chill out? Hey, buddy, how's it going? What the fuck is she doing? That is so cool! Yo! Yo, I gotta start using the dual blades. She has like fucking, uh... What was that guy's name from Star Wars? Jesus Christ, the dual lightsaber guy? That shit's so cool. God, that was rad. Oh, I'm gonna start using dual blades. That shit looks like, so cool. Ow. Dude, that shit looks so cool. Oh, God. Thank you both for your help. If anything catches your attention, let me know right away. Engineers need good feedback in order to improve. Thanks for this. Working with you puts my mind at ease. I'd like to do it again. I've never felt like that before. Yeah, because you in love. Everybody loves me. That's a lie, everybody hates me. 
my god, that was so cool. I'm gonna start using dual blades now. That shit looks so cool. Oh, there's an item right there. Uh, what can I say? Um, thank you. You guys really saved my life. The time spent in Baron is like a dream now. There are people who accept me for who, uh, for me. That alone makes me, if I'm able to help you in any way, please do not hesitate to ask. What is that thing on your wrist? Is that an arm guard? Oh, I guess they're arm guards. Hey, buddy. Acceleration trigger is perfect. Right system link working in one go. Not bad. Success like that makes it worth all those late nights, that's for sure. If I can do even a little to reduce the damage, uh, damage you all sustained, then I'm content. Alright. Port Baron really knows how to work, uh, how to come up with some terrifying stuff. Acceleration triggers, I've never felt anything like that before. It's like my insides exploded. But how did Keith, uh, Keith fix those things in a single night like that? It's like he isn't human. Well, none of us are considered human anyways. Hey, Hugo. The acceleration trigger was more effective than I thought it would be. What about you? Were you able to use it? Kind of. Eh, you were always a fast learner. Lulu Baron. I'm sure she'd live, uh, she'd live through the same, same kind of pain that we did. We may have grown up in different places, but I know we can share the same dream. It may take some time for her to open up, but I believe we've gained a solid ally. Oh, alright. Lulu smells so good. I wonder why. Mar? Mar, uh... I don't think she should go around smelling people. We're, we're, we're gonna need to have a talk. The way she smells makes my heart start thumping. Mar? Mar? You're, um, she's too old for you. Lulu. Dude. You, Mar, you need to, you need to calm your ass down, kid. You, you really need to calm your ass down. Like, it's fine to have a crush on her, but don't go smelling people around. Ooh. Keith was mumbling something about fixing triggers and stayed up all night working. When I picked in on him, he said he'd be having a lot of fun. Must be nice to be so focused. Huh. Where's Sho? How come you guys aren't hanging out with Sho? To encounter one in a place like this. I suppose we should count ourselves lucky that we spotted it before it spotted us. Is that an Ash Origami? They're a real threat, even for a fighter as skilled as you are. Yes, the Ash Origami appeared along with the Ashlands. They're a whole new breed of monster. Just a scratch from one of them will kill you. They devour in a completely different way from regular Origami too. They rob God Eaters of their resonance ability, and explosively amplify their own oracle cells. They can also enter a burst state in the same way that you God Eaters can. Lethal and inescapable. That sums up Ash Origami. There's only one thing we can do now. Pray. Just hope to high heaven we don't ever have to engage one of them. <sighs> Well, that sounds exciting. Let's fight it. Thanks to the resonance radar, we can avoid routes inhabited by Ash Origami. Really hope we can, well, uh, hope we don't come across any Ash Origami before we arrive at Chrysanthemum. The resonance radar is working right for once. It spotted Ashborn for us. We, do, we really don't want to bump into any of them. You'd need more than nine lives to survive. I want to fight it though. Let's do this. The situation is unchanged. Stay sharp, everyone. Beat him down. Small right. statue. Let's do this. Uh, do I have my health boosters on me? Yes, I do. Ow! <laughs> I missed every one of those attacks. Feel bad. Whoa, okay. 
You need to chill out, man. You're just like killing your own friends here. Hey, buddy. You can block all you. Oh, God. I forgot he can charge. You're a lot scarier looking, too. Oh, resurrection. I am literally inside this thing. Uh oh. Yo, did you not? Running away again. Activate at will whenever you're ready. Could you not run away? Oh, 
Blank bastard. What happened? This response. It's an ash origami. Ranges six miles. Huh? An ash origami? Are you kidding me? Comparing with the database, no matching data found. It's an unknown type of ash origami. Reverse our heading and retreat at full speed. We need to withdraw from this area immediately. We're too late. It's already on us. It's so fast. Ash origami on a collision course. What? What did you say? Impact with rear cargo containers. Some are destroyed. Is there something it wants in our cargo? It won't stay away from the containers. They can't withstand anymore. Ah. Was that Claire? Container is breached. Ash origami is inside. Just not our day. Let's move. Are you all right? <laughs> the container is... Don't be stupid. Think about yourself. Damn the cargo! Protecting that cargo is the duty entrusted to me. Uh, there is an ash origami in that container. Don't just waltz in there. Uh, what? Is that... a human? No, you don't! Zeke! Okay! I'm going in too. for the hands, all right? Got it. Are you okay? Hey, come on, wake up. Live, damn it. You have to live. Are they alive? You're awake. <sighs> Why did you have to worry me like that? Ma'am, our sleeping passenger awoke just now. Whoa, whoa. Take it easy. You've been out for three days. You've got quite a fan club now. <laughs> I would never have guessed that Gleipnir was using us to ship human cargo. I thought the reward was suspiciously generous, but I bought into it anyway. Is that kid human, or...? When the Ash Origami attacked, we recorded a huge resonance phenomenon emanating from the container. If we consider that this child was at the center... I saw it with my own eyes. Somehow, that kid did something that healed our friend's wounds. That sort of power goes well beyond human. Listen, Claire. All of the people you see here are authorized personnel. Could you at least tell us what you know about this? <laughs> she is the hope of humanity against the Ashlands. Huh? We were told the contents of that container could carry humanity into the future. That it was potential. 
So, according to Gleipnir, this girl is the hope of humanity. I was certain it had to be a new type of god arc, or something like that. Nevertheless, it is still my mission to safely deliver the container's contents, man. Please return to course and continue to mission HQ. Hold on, wait a sec. Are they gonna use that girl as a guinea pig or something? No way. That's not gonna happen. <sighs> she saved our comrade's life. Take it easy, Zeke. It's Claire's job, not ours. Come on, that's... I mean, yeah, but... <laughs> We are going to fulfill our contract. Let's set out towards Mission HQ as scheduled. The girl is already out, however, and the container is damaged beyond repair. There may have been a shipping accident, but she's still a passenger on my vessel. As such, we'll treat her as we would any passenger. How does that sound, Claire? My assignment is to deliver her safely to her destination. But I have no specific orders as to how she should be transported. Great! So, uh, do you think now we could stop calling her the girl or that kid or whatever? Huh? Why don't we think of a name for her then? So... cute. What would be a good name for her? I'm really bad at this, so you decide. Theme. <laughs> oh, you like that one? It suits her nicely. Theme. It has a sweet sound to it. Theme. Theme. It definitely fits. Theme. <laughs> Are you happy with that name? Theme. Theme. I've only known Fiend for a couple minutes now, and if anything happens to her, I will kill everyone, <laughs> and then myself. Can- This is absolutely my child. <laughs> you wakey. Um, um, you save me? Thank. Mommy? <gasps> oh, you're so precious. Are you hurt? Uh, me? No. People call mommy mommy, so you mommy. Who calls me mommy? <laughs> Who? Where did you hear this from? Who? Who called me mommy? Was it Hugo? Did was was it Hugo? Did you hear that from Hugo? I wait long for mommy to wakey, happy me. <laughs> Hugo, what are you teaching my daughter? <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you teaching my child? That stays. That stays between us. Oh, it looks like you're feeling better. Theme is uh go good to see your mom. It's good to see your mommy awake, huh? What did you just say? Hmm? I said mommy. Beam hasn't left your side since you collapsed. She just sat there watching you with a worried expression like she's your kid. So we've decided that you're Fiend's mom. I... I kinda like that. Oh, you're taking... <laughs> you've taken to her already? Take a look, Fiend. Uh, take a look, Fiend's happy too. All joking aside, though, would you... Uh, when you found Fiend, you instantly threw yourself between her and the Ashborn, right? She remembers that, and I think that's the first expression counted for a lot. And regardless of how 
things turned out, you owe her your life too. Take good care of her mom. Hugo. <laughs> God damn it. Could you come to the medical ward later? We have to check uh, anyone who uh, comes in contact with an ash origami or high concentration ash blight. You've been devoured, so I want to give you a thorough check if anything happened to you. Come on, Fiend. You're already awake. Uh, you're already walking around. You were in a coma for three days, so take it easy, okay? The Ashborn knocked out all your systems. Uh, all our systems. It'll take a while before we can move again. We worked three days and nights after the attack. The root of the problem was deep. I guess the crew got to take a long, deserved break, so that's a plus. They'd been working nonstop since the ash storm. Everyone looked like they were having fun making friends with Fiend. I'm a bit jealous. We'll play once my work is done, okay, Fiend? Wait. Wait, I've seen... Hold on. Yes! Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> Could she wave? Could... She copies me. This is adorable. Oh my god. This is... I love Fiend. You, when you grow up, you can marry Sho. What the fuck? I love this. Let's go talk to the kids. I'm glad you're okay. Fiend and I... And I were really worried about you. Yes. Sho. Come here. When she grows up, you two are getting married. Enough said. Oh, hey, Fiend. I'm so happy your mommy's, uh, your mommy woke up. We get to eat together again today. Oh, hey, Fiend. I'm glad you're mo with your mommy. Will you come play with me in my room sometime? It'll be lots of fun. Oh, my God, Fiend. You're, you're precious. Let's go, Fiend. Oh my god, look at her. She's following me around. Ah! <laughs> You're so fast. I can't believe I've wasted time worrying about you. Guess I'm happy you're okay, though. And all oh, little Fiend's following mommy around. How cute. Alright, time to cook up a treat. Zeke special. A a what? Ampule a rice. Ampule Rice? It got a pretty awesome name, right? So yeah, Fiend re refused to leave your side. She wouldn't even touch any of the go uh, the food we gave her. By the time the sun came up, we figured uh, hunger was taking its toll and vowed to get her to eat. Lulu and Amy cooked up all sorts of tasty treats, but Fiend wouldn't touch any of them. That was when I came up with a miracle food, the wondrous Ampule R Rice. Truth is, I just accidentally dropped the Ampule we were going to give you and some rice. But for some reason, she flipped out when she smelled it, gobbled the whole thing down. Weird food preference, it's probably not toxic, so we uh, kept making it for her. I bet it's delicious. Alright, seriously, I think you need to get your head examined. Nothing about Fiend's normal, especially not her taste buds. But still, she saved you and that makes her a friend in my book. Besides, it's like we've got our all, all new adorable member of the family. Yes, that's right, Fiend. Let's go. I was curious about the uh, what was inside the container, that uh, that inside the enormous container. I had no idea someone like her would be in there. You must have been surprised too, right? At first, uh, theme seemed to be some sort of days after she was rescued, but it didn't take long before she was able to communicate normally. And all, uh, and above all, she was uh, she's such a quick learner. The other day, my brother was making me play cards with him, like he always does. Beam was just watching, but we invited her to join us, and she worked up all, uh, worked out all the rules. It was amazing, the way she looks, the things she can do. It's clear she's far from ordinary. And the funny thing is, one look at her smile, and it feels like none of us, uh, none of that really mattered at all. Maybe this is what they call maternal instincts. <laughs> Fiend's bringing out the best out of everyone. Uh, let's see...
I was relieved when I heard your condition stabilized. I'm glad you're all right. You've been asleep for three days. A lot has happened on the ship in that time. As you probably guessed, Fiam right there uh, next to you was the star of those three days. The way she innocently stirred everything up brought the whole crew to closer together. We kept watch at first, but she looked so worried and she nestled up to you. So, the kids were probably the first to open up. After that, people started coming into your hospital room. And before we knew it, Fiam suddenly became our mascot. Then you wake up to find her completely at home on the ship. That's gotta be a surprise. Um, I know you were badly hurt. You can join in on the fun from here on now, though. The ship will keep going toward the chrys chrysanthemum, but our systems are down because of the Ashborn. We weren't able to move at the moment, so I'm afraid I have to ask to wait. But this gives you a chance to talk to everyone. Maybe they'll have stories about Fiend. I mean, I was talking to everybody already. Uh, where is the medical room? Bias factor balance and metabolism are stable. Good. We should be alright. For the time being, at least. You heal incredibly quickly, even if you did get patched up by Feem. It's something to be proud of. She's really taken a shine to you. You're an intriguing character, to be sure. Hmm. Theme is... Huh? Sorry, it's nothing. All right, so I'm gonna end it here. So, um, let's end it off with a wave. Say bye to the nice people, theme. Bye.